bloody snow again guys i mean like all the snow was pretty well melted and boom we got hit yesterday and last night i wanted to go do some stuff on the bike and i was smashed i know a lot of you are saying don't take that windshield off trippy so i'm gonna take it off i wouldn't have bought that bike if my plan was to keep the windshield on i love the bike i absolutely hate the windshield that is the deal breaker right there um yeah i know it's gonna stop sound chips and rain and this and that and the wind is a big thing people say but you know i just yeah i knew right from the get-go that windshield's going off oh my back is screwed i did something to it last night or today and today is saturday so our clocks are going back you know they're going ahead tonight so right now it is 9 a.m i left the house late and uh really tomorrow will be 9 a.m will be 10 a.m now it doesn't happen everywhere i know a few provinces decided decided to stay on the old time so the time it is now the fall time i call it oh god it's gonna hurt i think yeah, I was such a sticky. Think of uh, what to do for videos now. Yo, ho, 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 ho. Ooh, in the creek I go. Okay. Yeah, so. The channel. I have had a few people ask me about e-bike videos if they're going to continue on. Um, yeah, no, yes. A bit of both <laughs> so the teo gemini is being sold i'm trying to sell it um it's up for sale for 3800 the least i will take is 35. i would rather destroy it before i let it go for any less than 35. i don't know where the path is every time i go down this path and snow covered i always go off there we go Woo! but um i'm keeping the emo ox but throughout this you know come after because i won't be riding the bike till may so come may june july august september october november um well part of november you probably won't see this bike hardly at all if any and i'm being honest i'm telling you straight up if you want to unsubscribe that's okay it doesn't you know it is what it is um not saying anyone will i just want to answer a bunch of questions straight out and not being around the bush and saying oh yeah i'm still going to do e-bike videos throughout the summer we go this way um when i pretty well know that i'm probably oh this is easy knowing that i'm not going to be doing it unless gas gets stupid and i can't afford to drive but don't worry guys i've been stocking up on gas cards i got some old oh old nutrients that i'm bringing to work today i got so, oh, oh shit someone coming in to buy it and you know what i do after that i go and buy a gas card yeah so no matter what the gas is we shall be able to afford to drive the bike somewhat because i've already got the gas card oh yes yeah but um yeah so in the summer there's going to be uh a lot of other stuff now don't get me wrong it's not all going to be motorcycle vlogs either there's going to be majority because you know that's what i'm going to be doing all season but there's going to be camping videos there's going to be you know one day i'll be driving to the campsite or the campground or wherever i'm staying next day i'll be you know setting up camp i don't know what i'm doing yet guys um there's going to be hiking videos a lot of hiking videos there's going to be camping hiking hunting videos come fall i've had a few of you reach out to me and i appreciate it yeah where i can go up to your place and do some hunting and some crown land and this and that i appreciate it and anywhere in ontario pretty well works unless you're like kenora that's uh, a little bit you know of a jaunt so the main reason well the main reason is i got a motorcycle um but also i know tipsy's not feeling the e-bike videos anymore i know i'm definitely not i've been for a long time long time coming even before um i had a thought of getting a motorcycle this year i was like oh, this is like i was trying to figure out something to do with my tail so i could tow this bike somewhere because that's the big thing 
Um, oh, and I also bought something else, but um, I'll leave that for a separate vlog. It's it's nothing expensive, guys. It's just you know a few hundred bucks, but it's kind of freaking bloody ass. Do I want to have a vlog itself to talk about? I'll do that on the way home tonight and post that maybe Monday. Or yeah, Monday. Cause it's Sunday for you guys. Um, I lost track of what I was talking about. God, damn it. It's like I should go back and watch the video. And be like, oh yeah, I knew I was supposed to say that. Damn it. Oh, pedal, pedal, pedal. Oh yeah, come, I don't know if I was going to say this, but come November, I got that truck that hopefully I'll have it safety by then. And um, which is planned, the money from the Tayos going to safety that truck and put me through driving school so I can get my license in eight months and not have to wait a year. Because right now I got my G1, which I can only drive with a licensed adult who's had a license for four years or longer. So, um, which is okay, but if I take driving school, then I don't have to wait 12 months, I can wait eight months and then I can get the truck license insured and be driving. And my plan, of November because it's still going to be nice and there's lots of times in the winter you can hit trails too. And obviously the motorcycle will be put in storage. The original plan was if I sold the tail I was going to get like a KLR or a Suzuki or you know some kind of an on-road off-road bike just to you know short little trips and then do some trail riding but because of the truck that put uh, buying another motorcycle off because I'd rather put some money into the truck. A truck is a lot handier. I can actually make some decent money with a truck. Like, uh, you know, maybe start back up this, my old swimming pool company. That would be deadly. Um, anything. A truck is so handy, but, you know, it's also handy that I can throw this. Hopefully the camera angle is good. I can throw this uh, e-bike in the back of the truck and be like, oh, I want to take it out to uh, it's one of the trails in Sterling where if I bike there, yeah, I would make it. I might not make it back, let alone biking around. The, you know, it's like a conservation area kind of thing. Or, you know, oh, there's a cool trail like uh, Ganaraska Forest outside of Peterborough. Um, Ganaraska Forest is mile, hundreds of miles. Like, it's just like square miles. It's, ridiculously huge and you can get lost in there really easy but i would love to go to the ganny we call it the ganny and uh, take this bike into the ganny you know so that's why i'm saying e-bike videos come may there probably won't be too many this bike will be uh put up in my spare bedroom in my house and uh, i can't see nothing because my helmet's open and this ice hits in my eyeball uh, yeah. Jeez, that hurt my eyes. I put this bike up for the summer. Um, I've decided I'm going to do the brakes on it come summer. I'm not going to worry about it now. I looked the other day, there's still pads, but it's squeaky. So come the summer. Um, we. Oh, 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 right in the garden, I think. Oh, the back. That kills the back. Come the summer, I'm going to. Do some work on this bike. I'm going to rewire it um, because of that wiring issue I did have when the wires mounted together and I just redneck fixed it with some gas line. Yeah, you heard that right. I fixed wires with gas line and electrical tape. <laughs> to, to, uh, put some extra barrier on it to help stop um, getting too hot and mounting together again. I'm going to put new front and back brakes on it. Um, I've also been looking at um, a bigger motor. It is, a, uh, it is, it is, oh god, this is glare ice. Like hub motor, new back tire kind of deal. Um, new front and back brakes, including, you know, pads, calipers, and uh, discs. A new chain, and you guys are like, why are you doing all this and it's going to become winter time after November? Because they won't be... It probably won't be on the road that much. If I have... Huh, things can change too, guys, remember. But if I have the truck on the road, I'll probably be driving the truck to and from work. Unless gas prices come November or 10 bucks a liter. 
and you can't even afford to drive a freaking motorcycle but um yeah that's a little bit what's going on guys just to uh, let some people know because like i said i've been getting comments so and uh, messages a lot of people really love the e-bike videos i would hate to see anyone go but you know i gotta expand my life and visions and you know it's after tipsy and i've been riding e-bikes around this town for five six years and a lot of it wasn't even recording any so you know after a while it just gets like oh just uh but anyways guys that's going to be the end of that video if i remember i'll do a video on the way home and there's been a lot of stuff happening oh look at all the snow yeah Damn snow. have a great day everyone make sure you stay tipsy stay tripping and stay redneck cheers y'all